Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at something I call mega scrolling slideshow. All right, I'm gonna show you the final result and then I'll show you how you can use these pieces to make your own slideshow. And yes, I'm going to give you all of this for free on videoreveal.com slash shop. So let's look at what it is. All right, so you get the idea. Now, these frames have still images. They can be anything. They could be images, video, uh, titles, graphics, animations, whatever you want. Um, but I just made it with a bunch of family type photos. I wanna show you how I built this and how you can easily add your own photos. It's so easy, you won't believe it. So here is what I have, which is all of the photos in here. And what you'll be getting is this. So let me close this up. And you'll get this with placeholders in it. And if you look in the project panel, there is a horizontal and a vertical placeholder. And then this is the Photoshop file, which I'll show you in a second, which I call the wood wall. And it is all of the frames, all of the shadows, and the seamless background for the whole thing. And this is 16,000, over 16,000 pixels wide. That's how I'm able to make this more than five minutes long. It's a giant Photoshop file inside a giant Premiere Pro timeline. But we, what you see here is the presentation, which is the HD version of the timeline. So it's very, very simple. Also in the project panel, you'll see a start folder. And if you open that up, you'll see 68 different sequences, one for each one of the placeholders. I'm gonna bring in some photos. I'm just gonna import some photos by double clicking here and import that folder. Again, these can be videos too. I'm gonna to try to make this a little easier by double clicking on the photos. So I've got my project panel here, which I'll open up all of my sequences and then my photos here because you're going to be going back and forth between these two. So I'll open up 01H and that's this one right here. Open that up and you'll see the placeholder is here. It's very important that you replace what's in the timeline. Don't delete it because you have to have the right duration. If you put a regular still in here, it'll be so small that as the slideshow moves, that image will disappear. I went to huge, great lengths to make sure the duration is correct. So how do you do that? Well, you just grab your media, whatever it is, hold Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and drag down to the, the clip on the timeline, and it will replace that. You can go to the effects controls. By the way, I'm using the Essentials workspace. Open up Motion. And I can tweak this so I can drag this down a little bit. And now when I close this one, you'll see it show up right there. I'll open up the next one. This is 02, the vertical one. Go back to my photos, Option, Alt, Drag, select it, tweak the position, maybe change the scale a little bit. close that one, you get the idea. So there's the next one and the next one and the next one. And you just keep adding them in here. And when you're done, all 68 of them, then they show up in here. Now I do wanna show you, I'm gonna open up this nested timeline. That's this one here called wide. And when you open that up, you'll see the duration of every single one of these sequences and you'll see them showing up in here. Rather than have 68 tracks of 68 sequences, the full length, I wanted to make it as economical as possible. This is also great for performance too, because you're not showing 68 
images or videos at the same time. Only the ones that you see in the presentation view, you can see here, they show up. The placeholders are turning on and off. So again, you don't have to worry about that. It's all taken care of for, it's all taken care of for you. You just need the presentation and then each one of the placeholders. But what if you don't like this rustic look? Here I've got this plank wooden background and these rustic uh, um, frames. What if you wanted a more sleek black and white corporate look? Oh my goodness, you're not gonna believe how easy this is. So we'll take the Photoshop file, so that's this file here, and edit it. And if you go to the edit menu, you'll see edit in Photoshop right here. If that doesn't work, then you can just, I give you that Photoshop file, you just open it up. All right, so if we look at, the, at this file, I made it as easy as possible to understand. We've got all the frames on one layer. We've got all of the holes as a mask and a seamless background. So if I shut the mask off, there's a giant seamless background in here and all you have to do is replace that. So you could slip in a new photograph in the background, or I'm gonna just create a gradient. So down below this, because remember this is a group with the, the mask is in the group. So whatever I place down here will be uh, uh, cut out by these holes. So I'll click down in here and choose a gradient. I'll click something basic. And for this, I'll make a gray to white. Click OK. So that's looking more corporate. And you can see it's just sitting above the other image. And for the frames, what we'll do here is we can use a style or we can just add a bevel and emboss. Right now, the drop shadow is on there. And if I double click on the effects, click on color overlay, and we'll set that to normal at 100% opacity and change that. We can change that to a gray if we want, add a bevel and emboss on there, and tweak the size. So now we've got this kind of a look. Go back over to our color, maybe make it a darker frame. Click OK, and there we go. I'll save this. We go back over to Premiere Pro, give it a second, and now we've got a completely different look with different frames. But we don't have to stop there. Let's get crazy because, because all of the frames are on one um, layer, then we can use styles. And I've got some styles here. Uh, there's a lot of, if you just Google metal styles, you'll be able to get all of these kinds of styles. So we've got metallic frames, brushed metal. And again, just save, go back over to Premiere Pro Give it a second, give it a second. There we go, takes a, a second. Uh, we, can, we can even get crazier here. Uh, we've got, there's grunge styles. Um, I've got a bone style in here. Or how about cheetah? Ooh yeah, cheetah and let's change this gradient to something a little bit more interesting. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, we can do that with just the uh, gradients up here. We don't have to even go into that. We can just click on these and make this look crazy. All right, that one, yeah. Save, go back to Premiere Pro. And by the way, I have my resolution turned down to a quarter resolution. This is going to take a little bit of time to uh, to play back for sure. Come on. And there you go. There is the crazy 
leopard skin uh, frames with a gradient background. So like I said, I'm going to give you this to download for free on the videoreveal.com slash shop store so you can try it out. It might be hard for you to play this back. I mean, I've got a wicked fast Dell Precision laptop with 64 gigs of RAM and a, a, a Quadro uh, or an RTX 5000 NVIDIA card in here. I've got a lot of power and I still have to set my resolution at a quarter resolution. You can still export out fine. So if you just want to replace the placeholders and export it out, you'll be fine. Uh, but it might take you a little bit to load everything up and play it back. So have fun, drop in your own backgrounds, uh, make it look goofy, fun, corporate, family, whatever you want. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this useful and you like to get stuff like this, then take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us? You can do that on the same store on videoreveal.com slash shop. Support us, uh, donate. Maybe you like this so much you'd like to donate a little bit. That's great. Donate monthly. We've got a lot of wonderful donors that we really do appreciate. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to uh, listen to people's suggestions because somebody said, can you get a scrolling slideshow? And uh, I create them for them and for you and then I make them so you don't have to go to all that work.